electric sauna. You know, like I'm not against all technology, obviously. But the mindless worship of technology, sure. Mindless worship of anything is pretty bad. But I'm just saying, so you said, let's approach this from a realist perspective. Okay, let's. If we think that there is a reasonable or even a potential chance, it could happen, maybe in the margins, let's assign it a 15% chance that AI, for example, gets away from us and we are now ruled by machines that may actually hate us, who knows what they want. Why wouldn't we use force to stop that? So you're walking down the street in midtown Manhattan, and <coughs> you've had a few you're coming from there, you're walking back to your apartment, a guy, a very thuggish looking guy, a young man, approaches you. He's 50 feet away. He pulls out a handgun. He lifts it up to no. you off the door. Arm. Do you shoot it, or do you wait to get shot? Because all he did is, look, he hasn't shot you. He's not committed a crime other than carrying a weapon in New York City. Maybe he's got a weapon. <sighs> could be legal but he's pointing a gun at you is it fair to kill him before he kills you even though you can't prove that he will kill you absolutely it is if I knew my, uh, my skills with a gun, when he pulls a peep you out on you, you, know, you have that is threatening your life period to stop the threat by so you justified in doing that I just like this picture I'm wearing a cowboy hat <laughs> No, but you're wearing cowboy boots and they're clicking on the cobblestones. Actually, yeah. for the meatpacking. Okay, okay, great. I like this picture. I'm just, yeah. I, I think about this a lot, actually. Uh, yeah, I, I understand your point. But also, the, I think that metaphor falls apart if uh, there's... Um, oh, those people got crazy earlier on there. Play, they know? don't know what I went so through. They, You know, just like I told them. I don't, I don't remember leaving the hospital. I don't even remember going to the hospital. China, I don't Germany. remember anything up until the point to where I realized I was at Walmart and I noticed somebody and I asked that person to give me a ride home. That is when I realized where I was at and what I was doing because apparently my apparently my mind just shut down because of all this crap. I, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't ever want to go through that shit again. I can tell you. I can tell you that because it was crazy, absolutely ludicrous. Force to prevent other countries from getting the bomb because we thought that would be really terrible because we acknowledged that we were up to nuclear weapons. I'm about to my pants. It was terrifying in the hands of. I mean, that's the thing that I kind of don't get. It's like. And uh, why I went into Walmart? The only thing I can say is God led, led me into Walmart because <laughs> there was no reason at all for me to walk into Walmart, none whatsoever, other than to find the person that I knew to ask them to give me a ride home. There's no other reason I should have went into Walmart. Well, I think that could lead to, like, destruction of civilization to other humans for example what was I believe I believe God led me in there so I could get a ride home so I wouldn't get hurt walking down the road or something you know you know what I mean yeah well might as well dance on the deck of the Titanic don't be a pussy enjoy it I think uh, we will forever <laughs> fight against the dying of the light as the entirety of the system Dave I don't know I don't think I bought any I might have bought a drink or something I got in line with him uh, and I may have bought a drink afterwards. If you live in a society where no, I couldn't. Have, I couldn't have bought a drink because I, I didn't have my my uh, debit card at that time. Like people are by definition much more ignorant. And I don't want to. I don't think like I did. They don't know it. It's like I do think the Wikipedia culture, and I think there are cool things about Wikipedia. <laughs> That's why I was trying to get Starlink because you know I ain't got nothing I've got's worth crap. Dummy you are, and how ignorant you are. All the time, you know, you don't know what you don't know. Like you don't know what you don't know. 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 You any money that I had, that I have in my cash app, I just transfer to my regular bank account. <laughs> it sounds so romantic. <laughs> I love it. 
No, you uh, should totally do that. Yeah, one hundred percent. But also in terms of being humble, you know, oh my goodness, so tiny, funny. Love that. It's nice to that you're asking. Physical humbling is unlike anything else, I think, because uh, we're kind of monkeys at heart and just getting your ass. Yeah, somebody asked earlier, earlier about the two crosses that. <laughs> then I got them that my dad had that I got. This is what they look like. They're no, bracelets. That's one bracelet there. It's got a cross on it. And then that's the other one there. But that's the, that's the two bracelets. And then I got them over my dad's house that I've been wearing. When that came out, you said that you actually know you love him. So how do you explain the difference? You know, my texts reflect a lot of things, including how I feel at the moment that I sent them. Oh, that specific text I happen to know, since I had to go through it forensically during my deposition in a case that was not named in. I had nothing to do with mm. whatsoever. Um, it's crazy how civil suits can, like, be used to hurt people you disagree with publicly. But um, I was mad at a very specific person. I mean, really, what, what that, I mean, you're asking me, I'll tell you exactly what that was. It was... The second the election ended and they stopped voting, stopped the vote counting on election night, I was like, well, this is, and it's all now mail-in ballots, electronic voting machines. I was like, that's a rigged election. I thought that then, I think it now. Well, now it's obvious that it was. But at the time, I was like, I feel like there's that was like crazy what just happened. I want, but I don't want to go on TV and say that's a rigged election because I don't have any evidence it's a rigged election.